Hey everybody, welcome back to Alina of the Arena. On the last run, we got to the second floor and lost on the boss. Who, can you tell me who the boss was actually called? I forgot your name already. But it was like a two boss where one of them was like the, the mage conjurer and like his creation was attacking with like a thousand health or something. And frankly, I didn't feel like we had enough movement to really deal with him. But it was nice getting there anyway to uh, see what he was about. Now, I just want to address off the bat, I did get a comment on the episode 4 video from a user called Zayes, and I appreciated some of the like constructive criticism about the run. And it was mainly on the run of the first attempt, so I just want to mention it here. I did write this whole essay as a reply, and, you know, asking for some other little maybe tips if you're more experienced than I am. For some reason it's not stuck on YouTube, I don't know what happened, but hey-ho, it is what it is. So the first thing I have to be aware of is, is that taking the conserve card early is difficult because I, I guess it's, I'm not exactly sure. So I'll, I, in fact, I'll read it as it says. You should have unlocked one inventory slot early on. First things first, I don't know, I didn't even know you could do that. So I'll look for it now that you can unlock an inventory slot. So you can pick up the great sword and start swapping between the lance and that one. Now you do allude to this later on. I never even considered when we have abilities where, like, for example, I have the crossbow in one hand and the shield in the other, I can swap the crossbow from my left hand to my right hand to use the strikes from that ability. So thank you for that, Zayas, because I would never have even, like, clocked on that. I would have always perfectly just held me in one hand and the other. But after you've, I think, declared a use of an ability with one of those hands, then they're locked in place. But until you do that, you can switch them around. You can also drop one and pick up another one. So I think I could have had like the greatsword in my back pocket and then the lance equipped and I could have swapped between the two to get the advantage of both of them. So the lance I could have used the reach of and the greatsword like maybe the more damage of. So I'm going to look for that majorly in the, this run. That's the main thing I want to the message. He says I shouldn't have taken the conserved card early since it's difficult to have one moment to use it while it's a non-upgraded version. And in general it's better to have two times muscle pain which can be removed eventually after five deck shuffles than wasting half your health since those early rest moments with upgrade option are a game changer. So much that could have made that power through usable because when you upgrade it, it costs two instead of, sorry, it will cost one instead of two. Or the wind up, and we use this on the second run, but you will not have seen it by this point that I'm uh, talking about it. Wind up is upgraded to zero action cost versus one, which is very good. I agree with you. I was kind of, Again, I was just throwing some ideas out there. There are some cards and like some abilities that I'm not sure that I really like. So Conserve I kind of took because, I don't know if you've played Slay the Spire before. I've not played it for a long time, but I remember there being an accessory now. I think it was called Ice Cream, like a trinket, where if you didn't use energy, it was conserved in the next turn. And that was really powerful. Now I appreciate this wasn't on the card, so I didn't have to draw it, it was on like an accessory. But I found on the previous run anyway that I was wasting a lot of energy setting up, like I'd waste two energy. So I kind of wanted to just grab the card to see if it would work. But I agree, taking it early is not a good idea. Equally, I took the... What was it? What was it called? Power Through, which I think wasn't very good to take early on. Because, you know, it costs two energy to use. And then each status effect costs one anyway. I, I think it's dangerous to take that too early as well, unless I have the upgrade immediately. So I'll bear that in mind. I kind of thought it looked a little bit... Eh. But, you know, I had to take it just to see it. Because sometimes my idea differs from what actually works out on the field. So I just wanted to test it in the field, I guess. The Muscle Pain, which I think came with an event, I agree. I took Muscle Pain in a previous event. And retrospectively, the upgrade is worth more than the rest. So you're right about that. I will probably value my health more because I would like to use, instead of rest, the upgrades. Then you go to talk about the second attempt. So this is where you take and swap pans. I didn't know, so I've mentioned that before. We will look at that in the future. Uh, and another way of solving that issue is throwing the crossbow on the ground so you can punch an enemy and then pick it back up. Again, that is pretty good advice. So I think that would be useful in the turn... Let's say I had two strikes and I had the crossbow, and I wanted to get two hits in. I could drop the crossbow, punch him, pick it up, and then shoot him. I'd have to reload in another turn, but that could literally change, you know, taking a hit on that turn versus not taking a hit on that turn. So again, 
Just thank you for all like the advice. It's much appreciated. The one thing I wanted to throw back at you if you are watching this, and this holds true to anyone else who's maybe played the game and has a bit more experience than I have. You know, I, I'm only at four or five runs into the game so far. You've seen all my runs on my YouTube channel. I've not done any off camera. I felt like in that second boss that movement abilities are more powerful than defense abilities. So I'm not sure if it's worth trying to pick up movement abilities over block abilities or replace slowly my defense cards. Are they called defense? But replacing the uh, guards with movement abilities because we got quite a lot of value out of the ro roll. I would have definitely been happy to have like another roll in the deck so I could maybe move three tiles a turn. Because I think if you move three tiles a turn, I could avoid any damage. And alluding to that, I think I should consider trying to take... What was he called? It was it called Dark Soul, I think. Because that gives me another movement ability. So that's the preamble. Let's get into a run, knowing this in mind. So first things first, we're going to confirm it in pro. Yeah, we're back to the Slave Arena. We get to buy some abilities. Apparently I could have bought a slot unlock. Oh, that's what these are. So I can hold more than one item. So I don't have to just... You know, use it or lose it. Okay. Let's do it then. So, Zayas, since this is powerful, I will bend to Zayas as well. At the start of each side track with Razor Sharp and two Sapped. Apply Bleed whenever you deal unblock damage. But I start with Sapped. Okay. And Wolf Charm. Gain one energy each turn, receive one hesitation whenever you move. I mean, again, Zayas, you might disagree with me, or someone else in the audience might disagree with me. I think if I wasn't doing this run right now, and I kind of want to check what this item slot gives me to hold items more readily, I probably would have picked up this Wolf Charm. Having an extra energy feels way more useful than holding two items. But I'm going to bend to your will and pick up the item slot. Then we have Stand Your Ground. Gain 6 block multiplied by the number of surrounding units. So we do get swarmed by guys at times. So that seems pretty good. Yeah, it just seems pretty good. The Master Sword though, attack all surrounding tiles. It has 2 charges. Plus 3 on the attack. That seems pretty good too, honestly. Hmm, and I do like Slam. I, I think I'd be weighing up Master Sword right now versus Stand Your Ground and a Slam. I'm going to pick up Master Sword. We kind of got screwed on that last run for a little bit. Not holding, or not being able to hold a good weapon. Because we kept Rusty Crossbow into the second floor. I guess it didn't punish me that much, but it would have been nice to have a good weapon. So we're going to start with a sword. I've also only had good runs with ranged weapons. Let's try and actually do a run with a sword. That lasts more than 10 minutes. Off the bat, I think I'm going to fight because I could lose health in a fight, which I might be able to reclaim back in an event. The other, other thing I guess I could do right now, and maybe that's worth doing off the bat, is just burning my rest immediately and training up to get wound up, wind up improved. That seems like an insanely strong ability to start with. Then I could forget stuff in my deck on the Meditate to give myself a thinner deck or even create a new card we probably want to create right now because i haven't got great cards in my deck so full on attack deal 18 damage and it's self exhaust so if i don't use it i lose it faint deal six damage return a random zero energy card from the discard pile to your hand let's do it it has a synergy with wind up that's my zero energy card and then the next heal is behind this shop. So I'm going to fight here to uncover it. Okay, immediately I'm not thrilled by fighting close enemies. Also, I don't know if it has any text, by the way, because it just says when attack, deal two damage back. Does it specify somewhere that it has to be melee attack, not ranged? Because I just wanted to see how it knew I was... Well, not even how I knew. Because when I range attacked it, I didn't get the spiky text, but I didn't quite see where it was specified on the card, like... This is a range attack or this is a melee attack. Or if it's just something that you have to, you know, know. I don't know. Anyway, we've got wind up in our opening hand, which is perfect. So I could move into you. I could guard. 
which means I would take one damage and I could wind up strike or I can move into one of these guys wind up strike and guard which means I'll take no damage because you spike me for two but you would do two back to me I'm actually going to move here to stand next to the other one because I'll still have two block for you so we wind up I have a 14 attack strike because of Master Sword. I forgot to guard first. I'm a dribble. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I'm sure we will get punished by two health. That's the rare misplay on turn one from me. But we'll deal with it. Uh, this is kind of an annoying turn for me. Because I don't have a block card. No, I have got a block card. What am I talking about? So we'll guard. We'll faint. Which gives me back wind up. Now I don't need it in this scenario. No, I, I can use it actually, sorry. It carries between turns. I, I tell lies. I just speak untruths. So I'll hit you again, and then we wind up for next turn. Right, the lady in the wick is moving closer and closer to me. You're only doing four damage though, so I'm gonna strike you. I'm gonna strike you, and I'll guard you. I take no damage. So this should have been oh my god, I can wind up. Faint, which gives me the wind up back. You died, but this was the right play. Right, we misplayed once this battle. Forgive me. Ooh, fortify, gain 30 block, exhaust. Can I see how this would upgrade here? Or do I need to know? Just an advance. Fireball has given me a lot of great value. I can't right click it. Click again to view upgrade. So it goes 45 instead, but it still exhausts. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the best here. I do like the fireball. I, I, I'm going to take fireball. Until I see a synergy where like, I can get exhaust cards back, maybe. It doesn't really appeal to me to have this Fortify. I have seen block synergies, I guess. You know what? Fuck it. We'll take Fortify. Because I have seen the ramming thing, which could be useful for me. The Rusty Dagger literally does nothing. Oh, it has Bleed. Never mind. You can go into the offhand. Now I have two equipment slots. I don't know if this is permanent, by the way. Is this unlocked per run or permanent? If it's permanent, then it's great. If it's not, then so be it. Right, I only have 29 coins right now, so I think we want to fight again. Okay, we've picked up our 45, but I don't really need it. You're attacking for 4. I don't have a block in my hand, other than 45. I guess I could just prop the 45 immediately. So that I can actually move in there and strike you. Because I, I probably don't need my 30 block card this turn. But maybe I will do. If I don't do this, then I'm wasting energy. Because I'm going to move away and wind up. Which means I, I have two energies to spare. Let's, let's, let's just go aggressive now. Hit you for 14, and I'll block 30. Right, you're hitting for 12 when you hit. So that's... Kind of spookerific. But now I can faint to get wind up back into my hand. I don't need to slam you. I can just strike you down. I can wind up again. And end turn. So we're looking for 16 damage here. And I have it. In fact, I can slam into you as well. Just to, Oh, wait. Hang on. If I slam into you, I'll lose kinetic, right? So I shouldn't do that, because then this would be four... Well, it would still work, but I would be doing less damage. It'd be better for me to do this. 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 I get to save my slam then, at least. Right, we've broken your guard. I have wind up back in my hand. We wind up. We faint. We wind up again. We strike you. Okay! Now we're talking! Zayas Tutorich. Now, I haven't been swapping stuff from my hands, but the extra inventory slot is going to come up useful. The Truffle Shuffle. I, I like the Truffle Shuffle. 
I do like refocus too, because this gives me an ability to cycle my decks even faster. So I can keep getting wind-ups faster and faster. I'm going to take refocus over the truffle shuffle. I do like you truffle shuffle though. Uh, we'll take the muscle potion. The rusty longsword versus the, the dagger. It's heavy and two-handed. So I think realistic right, right now, I could put this in an inventory slot if I wanted to. I actually quite like my build right now, my jewel wield master sword rusty dagger. Because if I hit you multiple times per turn, I get more value off the bleed than probably the plus one attack I get on the rusty longsword. Plus I don't have any way of dealing with the fatigue, so I'm just going to sell that. And I think we, we keep fighting. I think we fight one more time, then go for the event. Top heavy, top heavy. What's top heavy D doing? Take four direct damage when thrown off balance. So I presume if I break through you... Max armor. I presume if I break through you, the stun is what throws you off balance, and you just die. So I think I need to do 40 damage to you. Am I right? Hmm. Nine and ten. So this could kill someone, I think. If I understand it right. Uh, not this. The, the flaming trap. Okay, I'm going to be proactive because I don't 100% care about my health. Although if I do this, I don't know where they're going to move to next. No, I think I... I don't know. I'm going to put the Flaming Trap here. Because I think what's going to happen is you're going to move to the left and you're going to move to the left. Can I throw it directly on your tile, actually? I don't want to do that, though. I'm going to throw it here. I could have waited a turn, I guess, just to see where you're coming. Yeah, I should have just waited. Okay. I'm going to throw up some guard and then I'll hit you with a strike. We take five damage. You're not going where I thought you were going. That's upsetting me. I will move because it saves me 8 damage. We'll try and hold on to the Fortify for a turn. I'll double guard. And I'll wind up. He should now move into that. He's burning. So as long as I get away from you, you're dead. Shuffle. Faint. Wind up, refocus. That blocks all damage. And you know, oh no, don't throw the rock. <laughs> you have kinetic on. Yeah, you explode. Okay. Can I get through your armor this turn? 14, then 4. That's 18. The slam will do 2. That's 20. I'd have to... Oh no, 21. The rock. But I would take 10 damage. The alternative is that I pop the muscle potion. In which case... I don't need to slam, I think. Let's do it. I think I'm right here. I could also pop an energy. You know what? Why not? Because then I hit next to me. Wait, am I taking... No. He's doing 10 to me. Oh, I choose myself when I do it like this. Okay. So I strike and do 18 to 2 of you. Then I choose to do a 6 to you. That stuns you. And you're still on 1. Have I still got kinetic? Oh no, strength. I'll throw a rock at you. And you know what? I'll actually throw up some block. We take 2. We have wind up again. Can I break through? Yes, I can. Strike you. Get stricken. 
We we spent a lot in that battle, but I'm fairly happy that I did so. We still got an item back. Brand. We have no fire abilities. Repel. Well, I'm sort of building slowly towards shield build right now. Vigilant. Gain 7 block. Draw a card. Let's pick Repel. Maybe we will replace the dagger with a shield at some point. The Flaming Trap, welcome back. And the Rusty Longsword, goodbye. 108 gold pennies right now. Let's see what the event is. An excited fan approaches you and offers a basket of cookies which are purple and emit a bewildering funk. Please have one. I made them myself. You decide to... Eat all of it. So 50% of your max HP receives stomach pain. Or be polite and eat one. I don't really need 35 health. I'll eat one and be polite. This gives me an elite if I want an elite. Let me just look in my deck. What does faint upgrade to? It just upgrades the damage. Because if I can upgrade a card to zero. Although I guess right now faint is tutoring just for wind up. So maybe I should be happy about that. Repel gives me more block. Refocus gives me way more block, actually. Refocus is pretty good to upgrade. Okay, I'm going to go to the shop here. And I'm going to buy a card. I'm going to buy nothing. <laughs> I can remove a card, though, for 100. Hmm... Is this worth? I'm going to say no. Because I have another shop open to me. And I'm going to train. I think I will pick up refocus. So this is 8 block and every card I discard gives me additional blocks. So that's a really nice card. We'd like to get to the meditation at some point. But we'll try and use this shop to actually improve. I know, bizarre, right? I'll wait until there's only the two of us. Perfect, I will not deal with you then. You can be left to your own devices. Uh, let's move here. I'll repel to block. I'll wind up and smack you. So you take two back on the counter. We might want to master sword again here. Or I, I might not need to. I hit you twice. And I just refocus and block the damage. 12 block on that refocus. That's actually kind of insane. Oh, and a blue dart. And what are you? Sharpened dagger. Man, I'm kind of enjoying dual wield build so far. Wind up. Faint. Gives me the wind up back again. Unfortunately, I got no more attack cards. You're slowly getting stronger and stronger, I have noticed. You're increasing damage by four. Right, you can come towards me if you would not mind. Actually, you know what? I'll meet you in the middle. I, I don't need all my stuff. Imperial Lance. Hmm. I mean, I can hold that in my back pocket if I really want to. Shall I slam into you? Refocus. So if I discard one, two, three, four, then I take no damage and I can actually move up into your grill. I'm going to do it. Push him against the ropes. Uh, I didn't quite get the amount of block I was expecting there, but you know what? It's fine. Because now I do. I think I forgot the card itself wasn't going to be discarded. Something along those lines. Right, you're doing 17 damage. Where is my Fortify? My Repel? They were what I was going for here. I might step back this turn. So I take no damage. We'll move on to the rock. Throw a rock at you. Yeah. We'll let you move towards me, and I'll, we'll fight you when I'm a bit better set up for it. 
Right, you're doing 16 to me. Oh, I, I don't have thingy in my discard for a change. Wind up is here. How about I repel you? I fortify. And how about I throw up even more block? I have 40 block. This rusty dagger... I assume I'm just pretending it's the rusty dagger. I guess it's both weapons. I've crossed them together. He's slamming his sword down. And then I'm just going to scissor his neck. That's what the play is here, Alina. Oh my word, I broke him on the, uh, the reflex. That's so good. Oh, he drew faint again. Perfect. I say perfect. It's actually kind of annoying. We can re use refocus this turn to draw a card. We got another strike. That'll do it for me. Right, you're now attacking me again. You are bleeding, though, so... I do do a bit extra damage. Do I move away from you again for a turn? I can never do one of those big turbo turns again. The alternative is I hit you for seven and block eight. I'm just trying to think, is there another way around this? What's the optimal play? The optimal play is I faint. I get wind up faint. So it's like 12 damage plus... Depends what weapon I get. I think the opt, the, the absolute most I can do in a turn is 26. Repel, refocus might also do it. I'm going to step back. I think I can get better turns. And you can take a pocket rock. Oh, you're moving away. Oh, you're doing a turn of guarding. You big nerd! Oi, come back! Oh my god. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, we just need to break through 25. I don't think I can do that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to easily block 22 anymore. Okay. I, I think we may have misplayed stepping back there. Oh no, I do break through. I'm wrong. It works. It worked. The plan came together. We, we really did get that combo again quickly. Okay, that's not the combo, but sure. I might as well, since I've got the energy... Move a little bit around. I'm just thinking of trying to get to that dagger a little bit quicker. Okay, you're also shuffling to block that. I can do the wind up faint turn again. What will refocus do though? Refocus repel. Does it discard the initiative and delete itself immediately? Because I'll get two, four, six. Oh, it'll discard repel, which I don't want to do. So I have to use repel first. So I'll do 2, 4, 6. So that's 14 block, 20 block. It depends what my last card is, whether or not I block everything. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to do 1 damage this turn. I, I'm turtling you hard. And now you're doing 25. I would like to fight you on my own terms, if you don't mind. I'm going to step back again. Oh, he's such a... I did the same thing twice! You're such a nerd! Uh, wind up. Refocus to redraw my deck and try and cycle faster. What a dweeb. Right, I need to do 25 damage to you again on a turn. Ah! That's not 25 damage. What's the blue gun do? Saps. I have 14 damage here, but that won't cut it. If I refocus, I might draw into wind up faint, but that won't do it either. I think I step back. And I wait for the perfect opportunity. And honestly, I'm going to flame trap you as well now. Just for a bit of extra damage, because I'm taking too long in this. 
There we go. We have the combo now. I did it in the... No, my God. I did it in the wrong order. It's okay. I can still interrupt you. I did miss some damage. Okay. T turns out Mr. Misplay has come to play today. And that doesn't throw me, fill me with joy. Like, let's put bleed on you. Strike you. Strike you. Exactly lethal. We got out of that better than we should have done. Uh, Zayez, don't watch that round. Just purge it from the memory banks. Okay, power through has come up again. I have no way of propping that right now. But I put in the future. Deadly touch. Oh, applying 99 death mark. I have seen you before. I kind of don't want you because you're zero mana, so you're going to interrupt my strategy. Fast metabolism. Draw one additional card when you draw a status exhaust. That could be nice. That could enable me using the lance. The best defense. Deal six damage, expend all block, then deal one additional damage each. I see the potential benefit there. And jump attack. Move forwards and deal eight damage. Multiply total damage by 1.5. Move forwards, deal eight damage. Multiply total damage by 1.5. Does that apply to the attack itself as well? So will I get a 12 damage attack on the jump attack? Or is it just for the next attack? I can see the benefit of fast metabolism. What, does he, what are you upgrading to? Plus. You're innate. You start in my hand. So I can immediately enable the power. I'm going to forego it. I think it potentially is really good. I'm kind of leaning towards this defensive build, so I'm going to pick up the best defense. Which means I'm probably not going to use the lance. Uh, Sharpen dagger. Increase damage by one whenever you deal unblocked damage. Apply one bleed. So you're just an upgrade on my rusty dagger. We should hold you here. And then the lance, we might as well hold you here. So I can bring in the lance if I want to do a reach attack. If I understand it right. Oh, that was an elite battle as well. And we got through it pretty easily. Right, give me an event. You see a dark figure sneak out from the equipment shop who then quickly approaches you after he notices you're watching. Hey, if you don't tell anyone, I can sell you some of this for cheap. Lose 150, sorry, 150, 180 gold, receive epic random equipment. 150, get rare. 50, get a common. Give me a random, oh, he chose me, sorry, it's not even random. I mean, the buckler does work well with my build. I I have to be honest with you. How do I see my, oh, my, how, can I not see my equipment in this menu? I'm just trying to think. What would I rather have out of the the legendary sword or the dagger? Probably the legendary sword. If we're going to build turtle build, let's get it. Sharpen dagger, master sword. I could hold on to the sharpen dagger, I guess, instead of the lance. But I think if I'm going to hold a third weapon to slot in, I would want something with reach. This again is where Zayas is like frantically typing in the chat. You idiots. The sharpened dagger is the best weapon you can get on the first floor. And you sold it for nine gold. Well, unfortunately, that's what I'm going to be doing, I think. Because I, I like this master sword. It has master in the name. The iron buckler does well with the cards I've picked up. And I think the lance has a different niche to the dagger. So I'm going to get rid of it. This means I probably don't want equipment as well, which is good. But I now have no gold for the shop, so we will do some more fights. Right, what, what was this again? Saps enemies. Oh, who are you guys? Tri Archer. I don't remember seeing Tri Archers down here either. Then some more of the, the bottle top guys. Man, I wish I'd taken that fireball. It would have actually ruined your guys' day. Well, I think we're going to be moving. Or am I? 
we're probably going to be moving. If I move into your tile, I spend an energy. I could then guard, guard, and take no damage. <clears throat> I could also blowgun you. The alternative is that I move maybe to here. And then I use the reach to slap you twice and equip the Imperial Lance. And then I can just strike you from a distance, plus the state effect into my deck. And then I switch my weapons back. But how will that work with the blow down? You know what, let's figure this out. We're on the first floor. It'd be better to sort it out now. So the Iron Buckler is now on the floor. The Master Sword went into my inventory. Okay. The Strike here gives me a Fatigue, but then I can expend the Fatigue. So now I can't swap back, right? That's my dealio. Equipment used this turn cannot be unequipped, but I can do it next turn. Which is good, because I want to do it this turn. Because I definitely want this Iron Buckler back. And I can move equipment before the initiative. Okay, I'm learning. This would be a giga turn to do fortify, refocus. In fact, can I just one shot you with this? Spend energy here. Fortify. You're currently going to take 23 damages. If I refocus, you're taking. 39 damage. You're all dead. Well, you two are dead, at least. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the wrong play. That's 100% the wrong play. I want the block. This, At least in this scenario, I want the block. Oh, I'm unlucky that wind-up isn't there. I was going to faint one of them just to get, pick up wind-up. We'll just use the repel just for more damage. Even though it doesn't actually matter. We're overkilling. Oh, it didn't work on the other one. So it only repels the first attack. No, it did do damage to you. Oh, it... It chewed through the armor. Of course it did. So the repel did work, but you had less armor to get hit by. Okay. You know what? That's completely fair. Okay, I'm going to shuffle down here. I'm going to shuffle over here, actually, because I don't want to get hit for nine. And you're throwing more junk at me. Thank you. This kills you. And then we just kinetic. Again, this is kind of why I was, like, I was interested in the conserve. Because I, I floated two energy this game now. Oh, I've also dropped my spear. So I have to remember to put the spear in my back pocket. Okay. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. It's fine. Uh, repelling would be pretty good. Repel. Guard. Ooh, actually, you might, you might not be. Order? The order is fine. We take no damage. This is okay. I nearly misplayed, though. A slam would be fantastic right now, but... We might be able to get it, actually. If I put up refocus, I redraw my hand... The refocus will block you. In fact, it will block both of you, I think, right now. And we got faint instead, which isn't what I was hoping for. What's the order? You attack first. I can just stick up even more block. And then you know what? Take 14 as well. Right, it breaks their guard. Now I've got the slam. You're doing nothing, so I guess you're reloading this turn. Thematically. So we strike. Kill. We don't need the slam anymore. We stun you as well. We strike you. I don't know. So I'm just deciding what I'm going to hold at the end of this battle. Okay. You, 
you can die. That's what I wanted. We play the wind up. So we're ready for the next round. Hmm. A little bit cringe, I'm not going to lie. I will shuffle towards you, I guess, and then we'll just repel. I know the repel won't work, right? Yeah, it doesn't work. So you have to reload now. Now I can move in, though. And this is where I can make my money. We faint you. And you die. <laughs> you faint. You got talent. That's how you put on a show. Shield charge. Charge one tile. Stop and knock back the first enemy for two damage. If damage is dealt, gain one barricade and deal additional damage for each block. Keep block for one turn is barricade. And if you hit, you get energy back. If I don't use shield charge this run, when am I going to use it? Although I suppose the actual downside to shield charge is how do I prop the energy to begin with? I need one more energy. What do you upgrade to? Two cost? That's how we do it. All right, I'm going to pick up shield charge, I think. Deal two damage. Increase damage by one each time this card re is retained in a fight. I do like the idea of final blow as well. I'm blind. Deal six damage. Apply one weak. I might be getting too strung up right now on block build. I'm going to try it. Final Blow actually does sound interesting. And honestly, Blind does too. Reducing enemy damage by 25% is pretty big if I'm fighting like a boss. But let's see how that works. Hand Axe. So you're heavy and you increase damage by 3. So you can kind of fill the same role of Master Sword. I think my question right now is, do I want to keep the Sapping Blow Dart? Because the shield is also worse than my Buckler. Or would I rather get the Lightning Potion? But the Lightning Potion does nothing for me. So I think I'm going to hold on to the Lance. But if I hold on to the Lance, the Lightning Potion does something for the Lance. At least... I, I, I think I'm going to sell it as strange as this looks and keep the blow dart. Or the blow gun. It also ignores block to deal damage, which is kind of nice. It wouldn't be awful for those spinning tops if I just need to tickle one of them for one. Yeah, I, I just don't have a use for the lightning potion right now, other than the, the lance. But I'm probably only ever going to equip the lance for like a turn. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's test it in the field. There is a conceivable world where I use the lance three times in one turn. Then we pop the lightning potion and just clear them from my deck. The blow gun is nice, but it's not the be-all and end-all. Okay, I'm going to fight again. I've got the health to spare. And this might be one of the big wombo combo turns where I use another energy. I'm completely surrounded. I have the worst hand in the history of hands. I'm going to get hit here, I think. Oh no, I'm not. I know what I do. I move here, I accept I'm going to be held. And then I just kill you. In fact, I should have moved the other way and killed you, because I could have killed you with the faint. So I did misplay this turn. Okay. Strike you. We'll use things just to make myself feel a bit better. Right, I'm held now. <sighs> so if I refocus and I aim Buckler, I could probably do some pretty big damage here. I think that will be my game plan. Pop the button. Refocus, redraw my hand. That gave me my fortify. Can I just destroy you guys on my body? Because that would feel pretty good too. I'm not going to slam you into this guy, which would be a nice play as well. Because I would like you to die. So what's the order? You hit me first. You hit me for 8. That leaves 42. You get hit for 42 and die. 
You hit for 7, that's going to leave 35. You die. You're going to restrain me, so how about I smack you? Boom. 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 Okay, that was my big reflector turn. So I can't do that again. But what I can do... Is shield charge you, which refunds my energy and gives me barricade for a turn. This is such a cursed turn. I'm caught, I can't. Can I slam you? I can't. Okay! So what we're actually going to do is this instead, the best defense. It's actually fine. We'll kill you. I'll repel, which will do nothing because you're hitting me for eight anyway. And then let's just get this slam out of the deck and just do some damage this turn. Hmm. That's just a handful of trash. Health potion. Restore 20. I kind of would like that. Okay, I'm going to make the play that we talked about before then. I'm going to re-equip this. I'm then going to strike you with reach. Strike you with reach. Drink the potion. Play the fatigue. Play the fatigue. Put the buckler in my back pocket. The energy decays for another turn. So if I want, I could reuse uh, the lance. But I don't need the lance anymore because you've moved close to me. So let's re-equip Master Sword. I'm going to break this turn so I don't need to refocus. So let's just faint. Wind up. Strike. Strike. And then, finally, we wind up one more time and smack you. Okay, we have we have something here with our build. Good, keep it up, keep them engaged. Well, I, I'm trying my best, honestly. Get psyched. Gain three energized. Okay. I think I don't want you, even though it would mean that I could use my lance. But I really am only using my lance in very niche scenarios. Throw dirt. Interrupt multiple enemies. Exhaust. I kind of like that. And crippling trap. Does four damage. Applies two vulnerable. And it's increased damage by 50% for one turn. That's actually pretty huge. And it immobilizes them. I'm going to take crippling trap. I think the scenarios... In fact, what do you do when you upgrade? You cost zero. What do you do when you upgrade? Zero. It still exhausts though. I think I can get more uses out of you, and you can actually interrupt a lot of enemies who are just melee lords. So I think you'll do a similar job. Uh, we'll keep the health potion and just send these to the, the Great Grinder. And I guess now we'll spend all 199 gold in the shop. I don't need equipment. I, I feel happy with my equipment. Let's check the cards out. Uh, no pain, no gain. Lose 4 HP, gain an energy. Brand Heavy Blow. What do you... Can I see what you guys upgrade into? I can by clicking on you. So you just do more damage. You don't get discounted. It is a lot of damage, by the way. Deal 5 damage, draw a card. I mean, no pain, no gain. Also draws a card on the upgrade. That's kind of cool. My, my worry right now is that if I pick up No Pain, No Gain, then it kind of ruins my deck synergy where I'm picking up the wind-up again to do more damage. And also, I feel like I would like some form of like health regeneration other than just heals. I think if I take you, I'm going to eventually trade an upgrade for you. I'd have to take a heal. So, I'm going to say no. What I think would actually make my deck strongest is to remove a card. Like, maybe remove one of the red strikes. Or the blue guards. No, not the blue guard, the red guard. 
I'm, I'm talking about this the opposite way. A blue strike or a red guard? I'm going to remove a blue strike because you're my shield right now. I guess it's arbitrary what they are, but I, I've been leaning to putting you on the left and you on the right. There will, will be situations where I want the reverse. But let's make myself a thinner deck. Yes, I'm done with what we're doing. I can now meditate. Create, forget, or switch. I could forget something else, honestly. Do I gain any benefit from switching? So this is another question, I guess, got, got lost into the YouTube ether. Is switch ever worth it if I can just switch the equipment in my hands? It feels super not worth it anymore now that I thought you can do that. So I actually think we don't switch. I think it's kind of worthless. Creating and forgetting are probably the two big ones. I guess we want more good defensive cards. Trooper. Gain three block when you play a status. Okay. Now there is something coming together. Because this will mean that the status that go into my deck as a result of using the Lance will actually be playable. Entertainer did some good work on that last run too. And I do like Payback. What do you upgrade into actually? You just do more damage. What about Trooper? I get 4 block instead. I'm going to try this, I think. And I have a choice. Do I want to fight an elite for gold or just go to the champion directly? I kind of just want to go to the champion directly. But I'm going to restore one power to my buckler for 50 as well. Although maybe I get my power back at the end of the floor. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to hit me for nothing because of where you're stood. In which case, let's trooper now. Get the power active. And then... I can strike you from here. I have to remember my buckler is in the floor and I can't do anything about that. I should have used best defense and I don't know why I decided to do less damage. But that's okay. So now I want the iron buckler back. I want my master sword. I kind of want to save the Fortify. Sorry, Will. I'm going to faint you. I'm going to strike you then, wind up, because I want to interrupt you on your attack. Oh, in fact, I won't, but it's fine. I'll interrupt you next turn. This is equally as good. I can live with this. Uh, the Crippling Trap is too late. Slam is a nice movement. It might be used just to get out of my hand. I've also accidentally left the fucking Lance there. Okay, I'm going to slam you because I want to push you to get my Lance back. This again is a misplay from me. I break your guard. Pick up the Lance, you dribbler. And then I'll strike you. I do not want to be stood where I am right now because they're going to bounce onto this tile. Therefore, I will shield charge you. Oh, actually, oh, no. I will shield charge you, but I haven't got it discounted yet. I need to upgrade shield charge. That'll be the next big thing for me. Strike. Redraw the cards in my deck. Strike you again. We did not do a lot of damage this turn, but... Oh, you think you're tough? Think again. Can I do 31 damage to you? How does this attack work as well? You, I think it's a swipe, right? It's not a slam. Or maybe you use jump and slam there. I don't want to take forever doing this, but I'm going to move back. I'm going to throw a crippling trap here, and then I'm going to play the fatigue. It gives me block, but it's kind of worthless.
You're now weak. So I want to get in there and hit you. <laughs> I could fortify. And best defense you. And then we have to go hard after this. 57 damage because you're weak as well. Okay. Start smacking. The smackdown is commencing. Never mind. The smackdown has ceased and desisted. What a lousy turn. Alright, we'll push you again. I'll hold them to some block for next turn. Because I have barricade now. And we wind up. So I've got 16 block now. You push me away, you piece. The vulnerable is gone. But I can I can literally do the same play if I want. I can move back, crippling trap. Trap, sorry, and then walk back in. But I have got 16 block up. So maybe we just take the hit because we heal at the end of the floor, don't we? I'm gonna I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna play aggressive here. We have also got a health potion, so I don't need to worry about it. Wind up is in my discard pile. Hit me. I I, I don't mind. This doesn't quite work out as I was hoping. I'm one damage off it working. So I'll do the refocus play instead. I'll discard my hand with the refocus. And try to get over 21 block, I think. Or I can just break you. <laughs> you know what? Just breaking you sounds good. Smack. You still have 107 health, by the way. Oh my god. Really? That would have been big. Okay, we hit you for 8 more. You're going to land in the middle. You're going to get vulnerable again. It's in my discard pile. Oh, did Kinetic apply to my trap, by the way? I didn't think that's how that would have worked. I think he did. Okay, I can put up 14 block. We heal at the end of this floor anyway. I think we actually go in and start hitting you. I think the longer I take against you, the more lethal this fight potentially becomes. So I'm actually just going to take 25 on the, the chin, I think. You move me, which is fine. Is it fine, though? Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine, I believe. Oh, we interrupted again. Okay, we have to go big this turn. Big! Big turn. Uh, this isn't the turn I wanted. I can't use the crippling trap, sadly. Every time I feel like I've got a big turn coming, I lose it. I'm also going to kind of waste the kinetic here. But it will give me big block for next turn, at least. Smack you. Smack you. And we'll gain 8 block for next turn. Let's see what he does when he lands on me, by the way. Are you just going to push me? Oh, you actually moved to a different tile. I didn't know that's how that interacted. I thought you would land on the middle and push me back too. Charge one tile. If only. If only. That won't hit you, right? I have to charge into your tile and hit you. You're doing 29 damage. If I had you upgraded, it would be good right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, I can put Repel and Guard up and move into you. That would block 14 more damage. I'd block 22. I would take 7. 
But we'd at least be in there to, you know, hit you. The alternative is I'd move away from you, but it's kind of... It's kind of a weak strategy for me to move away. Because I, I don't have this big turn planned up. I think i move into you again. I could just hit you for 22 now, but then it would remove all my block. I think that's how that works, right? Yes, expend block. I don't want to expend my block right now. You can do 22. Uh, sorry, you can do 7 to me. And now I'm in striking range. Wind up. Faint. Wind up. Smack you. I think the strike is better. We're going to need this. Okay, he's fatigued. Perfect. This is the time where we want to walk in and do damage to him. I've got no damage cards. I think I'm going to lose this, you know. I think my damage dealing turns are too weak. Like, I can't shield charge you because I'm not going to do unblock damage. I can't throw it onto your tile. Man, it's so frustrating. I think when I get the perfect turn, it's like, it's fantastic. I do so much. I just can't ever get the perfect turn off. Uh, we don't have the zero cost kinetic card in there. So actually, I think it's more damage for me to do Repel Guard Best Defense. And just smack you for 20. We might have to get Trixie in a moment, though. I have Refocus. So Refocus plus some more guards could do some work. But I don't think I'm ever going to get up to 29 block. Do I move into land strats? Is that where we are now? If I move back one, he'll move forward. Then I can use the lance to start hitting him. But if that's the case, why would I not use the lance now? You're so frustrating. I I think if we got the traps at the perfect moment, even like one more perfect moment, and we could put vulnerable and like laid into you, I'd have killed you. Because if I move in the problem right now is if I move forward into you. In fact, maybe that's the play. Ah. I'm going to refocus and let you move towards me. Now that isn't what I wanted. Oh, it's not in my discard pile. Of course it's not. Well, we're going to take seven damage, get knocked back, and be in the same predicament I was in before. Like, it's just, it's perfectly worked out badly for me. Wait, will the Lance work with Shield Charge? I don't think it does, does it? Because it's not attacking, it's not the colour. You actual piece of trash. I, I think I've lost. And I, I think I'm dead here. Let's just check this doesn't work. Yeah, that's what I thought. I tried. I can't believe like that played out like that. I actually can't. He only got one more credit for it as well. That's rough. So what's the story here? <laughs> I was going to joke and say we shouldn't listen to the comments. Honestly, I think... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misplayed it. I think we got a bit unlucky. We were so comfortable up until that fight. I just didn't ever get that one Wombo combo turn. I guess that the moral of the story is that you can't just lean purely into a block build. 
And that barricade is something I can't really take. It's not barricade. What were you called? Were you called barricade? You have shield charge, right? I don't think I can take shield charge unless I ha don't have four energy or I don't have it upgraded. Because it's just so hard to play, like, bear. Because I have to get unblocked damage for it to be refunded. So it ended up being a dead card in my hand, like, 90% of the time. I probably should have also focused on getting this crippling trap on more often. But it just always seemed to work out where it'd be a turn where he wasn't moving or he was stood on the centre tile. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps me out. And I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.